And Mike Florio wrote today on Pro Football Talk about how they're the Dallas Cowboys, Rob, this is not a report like it's definitely happening. But he's the latest to throw out there as, I guess, can we call it informed speculation? It's not a report. It's still speculation. But he's a guy. It's definitely speculation. Right. But there are a lot of people saying this. But what he's saying, Rob, is that the Cowboys might not extend that. And what they might be doing is saying to Dak and and most other players, obviously they're going to keep Micah Parsons and CeeDee Lamb, I would imagine, going forward. But that they're basically saying to Dak, Mike McCarthy, Rob, Mike Zimmer, who they just hired as a defensive coordinator, but he's only got a one-year deal. Think about that. They're saying well, to their if you're entire Mike, if you're Mike McCarthy, staff, that's that's what that's for that's a oh, message totally, to you. Right. The coaching staff, Dak Prescott at the very least, and probably a lot of the other players as well, the Cowboys may be saying, look, you got one year. All right, just being in the just being relevant, just being good enough to make the playoffs, win 12 games, just being in the conversation all year is no longer enough. For us to give Dak Prescott sixty million dollars, and I don't know if this is the case, Rob. Put a gun to my head, and not even a, not even that close. I still think they're going to sign Dak long term, but there is growing speculation. We got Florio, Rob. I heard Adam Schefter throwing out similar stuff. Now this could, Rob. You know this. You were you're a journalist. This could be kind of public negotiating. Right, it could be some people in Dallas leaking stuff. Hey, we got no leverage with Dak, so let's throw this out there that you know maybe we won't we won't bring you back next year or you know two years from now. We you're on a prove it year. Let's see what you can do. And so maybe there's some public negotiating going on, Rob. But what do you think of that notion that maybe the Cowboys just play it out, and uh, if things don't go well this year? then maybe they move on from Dak, Mike McCarthy, and, and some other play, people. I, I already told you, Chris. Uh, I'm I, I'm in line. I'm in the don't give Dak $60 million line. I, I, I told you before. I'd rather take the unknown than the known. Dak Prescott is the known. And I get that it helps you financially, Chris, with your books and stuff like that. And, and that's why. That's the only reason why you should even consider it. Is is financially it helps your it helps your football franchise, right? Because you can sign Micah and right. CD Lamb, right? Right. That's the only reason. Which who you I uh, presumably want to keep, but but no the idea of giving him a deal the and the money is a is a hard issue. I I'm against paying the position rather than the player, and the player has not performed enough in the postseason to make me feel about making him the highest paid quarterback. He shouldn't make more than Patrick Mahomes. Sorry, I, Dak, I'm sorry. Sorry, don't care that you're next man up. Right. I don't, right. Chris. And at some point, you got to put your foot down and not allow this to happen. And that's why if the Cowboys were to go this route, I would applaud it. I really would. I get the relevant, oh, you just want to be relevant, and they win 12 games a year and all that kind of stuff. Come on, man, it's got to be better than that. We need you to perform at a higher level when it matters most. And he hasn't been able to do that on a consistent basis yet. So I'm with it all day, every day. I'm not extending Dak. And if the Cowboys, unless he took Chris some sort of discount and a le- less money. Well, where I agree with you, and we've talked about this before, we're in lockstep on pay to player, not the position. Right. And I get quarterbacks will still be the highest paid players because it is the most difficult right. and most important I get position. That, but he should get but more money than Patrick I, Mahomes? Yeah, no. no. You're right. Like, that's the thing. And I I would applaud that as well if they just – I mean, Kirk Cousins we just saw get $45 million. And so that is in line with how good Kirk Cousins is. And you can argue he's right there with Dak. Now, Dak's reputation is better. Right. Dak is viewed, right, generally is better, probably because I would say because Kirk Cousins 
it's not just the playoffs where he hasn't performed that well. Big it's, games. Yeah, big games even in the regular season. And people so, have seen it, Chris. When the national right. games come on, they've seen him not play well. So the perception is that Dak is, you know, on a different level. But they're probably on the same level. And I agree, Rob. Like, look, it also would help the other players. It would help the Micah Parsons, the Tyreek Hills, the guys who are the elite players on at the other positions. They're working just as hard. They're, heck, in a lot of cases, taking more chances physically than the quarterbacks. And I'm not saying they're going to make the same money as the quarterbacks, but they can make more. We know it will help the running backs, or theoretically at least. And so I do agree with you, like, if – they didn't pay Dak, and then somehow they were able to bring him back at maybe $48 million, $52 million, something like that a year. But I, I, it shouldn't just be, oh, you're the next quarterback up. You're a good quarterback, so you're going to be the highest paid. No, it shouldn't be that way. That said, Rob, I, I, I got to – I bring him back. Wow. Like, I just feel like – they have been in limbo before, quarterback limbo. It's not a good place to be, right? Before Tony Romo emerged, they had a five, six, seven-year stretch where they didn't have a good quarterback. And, and in this league, look, Rob, around the league, you see franchises that get stuck because they don't have that quarterback. And the, you're right. The Cowboys, Dak hasn't proven he can win you a championship. But he's proven he can make you rele- more than relevant. You're one of the elite teams in the league. 12 at wins least a year is a lot. Right. 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 Three years, that. 12 wins in the league. You're, you're making the playoffs. You're generally getting to the second round, generally. Um, I mean, I, I think the risk. Now, what I do, Rob, if they do go this route, if they do, and I would, like I said, I would probably sign him. I'm trying to get him to take a discount, but i probably sign him. But if they go the route of, hey, this is it, one-year tryout, then you, to me, you have to draft a quarterback. You're obviously not getting the top one. But, Rob, we heard Daniel Kelly, former NFL scout, tell us earlier in the week, Spencer Rattler. And a lot of guys like Spencer Rattler. You might, the Cowboys probably could get him later in the draft, draft him, and see what he's made of. If he's not good, hey, it is what it is. But bring him in and see if you you see the ability, the qualities in him that would lead you to believe, you know what, if we have enough around him, we got an all-pro receiver in C.D. Lamb. We got a very a good defense. It, you know, then we can go ahead and, and go with Spencer Rattler. The problem there, Rob, is that they got to get an offensive tackle in the draft. They let Tyron Smith go. Mm-hmm. They have to get a running back in the draft. Right now, they got Deuce Vaughn and Rico Dowdle. I don't think that's going to cut it. So, I, they don't look to me like they're having a very good offseason at all. But um, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out with that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, Chris, uh, it's, a, it's between a rock and a hard place. It's not that, like, like Dak is dog food. That's not what no, we're saying. No, he's a good quarterback. Right. It's just that I don't think that I would pay that kind of money for Dak Prescott at this time. I've seen him. This is not, Chris, he played two years and it's not fair and you're judging the guy. How long? This is your son? Not Justin Fields. Right, right. Where you don't know the upside and could he do something and turn it around. That's not what we're talking about. He'd been been in the league, what, seven years? Is that what it is? Seven? At least. Or eight. I think this might be his eighth year. Rob, do you see if you can find Yeah, him? But but that's a long sample size, Chris. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, for yeah. some guys, that's a career. I mean, I, I don't think it means he can't win a big no, game. No, but I'm just but saying. Yeah, but at that's this a, point, he hasn't really, for the most part. That's a real sample size, though, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. It's legit.